Hi, and welcome to another episode of History of Fan Anime in North America. Uh, I'm your host, William Chow, and uh, today's episode, um, I want to be a little more detailed and get into uh, exactly what it does it mean to get anime, and in, revert, in this particular case, the media that uh, the anime comes in, and how we had to basically obtain uh, the anime through this type of media. So again, um, referring back to episode two, where we discussed uh, the, the, the basic technological challenges that we had uh, with anime, we actually had to physically get the anime from Japan to North America. We couldn't just use the internet and try to, you know, download it or stream it in any way because, again, the internet wasn't fast enough and there wasn't enough technology to get that kind of uh, information from Japan over here. So. We were left basically to get a physical means of getting the anime from Japan to North America. The most common thing that, w that would happen is basically people would have to use something uh, like this, which is a video cassette, okay, VHS video cassette. Someone in Japan would have to basically record uh, the uh, TV programming that like right off the TV, and then. Uh, send it over to uh, North America here, and then we can be able to watch it uh, in that form. A little later in time, um, uh, you were able to uh, uh, acquire the, the uh, anime and order them, as long as you knew what to get. Now, of course, then the question becomes, well, how do you know? So, again, as I've shown you in an earlier episode, um, episode zero, there are these magazines. Uh, in this case, this is an anime media magazine, um, and it basically has the equivalent of a TV guide in it. And in this particular issue, which is uh, a uh, February uh, 2001 issue, uh, you can flip through it. It actually has a guide listing from uh, January 10th to February 9th, and it gives you basically some TV programs that are coming up uh, in this uh, week period tells you what TV stations are, are, are airing it and on which days and which months um, uh, the, the episode and what episode number it will be and it'll give you the episode title and maybe a little description of what's going on in the story. Um, that will get the uh, sort of a preview or a TV guide to help you decide what programs are, are coming out. So then if you have someone in Japan recording these things then you can then tell them, okay, keep an eye on you know, TBS, for example, uh, or NHK to get this program, okay? The other neat thing that's in these pro programs is, is, that uh, is really cool is they come with inserts. And of course, you know, the, the, you know these uh, magazines do have really cool inserts uh, that, that always have everything from, um, in this case, stickers, and, uh, you know, and uh, it'll also have things like uh, posters. This one has a... Um, a little, uh, you know, a fun uh, quiz book and whatnot uh, for, uh, uh, you know, uh, trivia and that kind of stuff. Uh, usually these magazines come with uh, um, nice posters and stuff like that. In this case, it has a, a really big pull-out uh, picture of, uh, of uh, Inuyasha here, okay? But one of the really cool things that, uh, that these magazines came, came with uh, to help these people, uh, the, the, you know, kind of give a little pre and pro uh, thing, is they came with, um, uh, in this case, a video cassette cover. So, for example, if you're following this series called Pat Labor, they gave you not only a uh, video cassette cover, but they also give you an audio cassette cover. So, if you're making a copy of, uh, you know, the TV episodes um, off of the TV then you now have a nice jacket to put on this video cassette and you can wrap it around and make a nice pat labor uh, jacket as well as if you're uh, you know, making a, a copy of the audio cassette and um, uh, making a, 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 you know, a copy of the CD onto your audio cassettes um, you also had a cover for that and you can uh, sleeve them up and that was one of the cool sort of premium things that you had for that but again you still had the issue of you had to have somebody in Japan to physically get this information uh, and, uh, and then with this information tell them, okay, I'm going to set the VCR to do this recording and then once that's done, they're going to put it into uh, 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 some sort of mailing, uh, mailing envelope, a mailing box 
and then have it sent over here. Now, later on, you know, uh, you could then get your, if you had the information, and especially from these books uh, that are made available, uh, that have catalogs, you can then get the title and the ordering information from like the ISBN number, and you can actually get your uh, local store to order it in. In this case, Sophia's bookstore or Wasse's bookstore, they were able to order me in um, books and laser discs of the shows that I was interested in. So for example, once I found out what the code was, I could order something like this. This is the laser disc for uh, a very popular OEVA called Galaxy Fronian and Yuna. And for those people who uh, used to own uh, um, PC Engine um, uh, video game consoles, they'll be very familiar uh, with this thing. This is another one of those uh, in the genre of let's put lots of um, uh, scantily armor and mecha uh, uh, fittings and, uh, and protection onto uh, uh, female characters and, uh, and they become defenders of the galaxy. Um, so basically, uh, once you get the uh, little cool, cool things like that, uh, you, know, you can then order these discs in. Now, mind you, these discs aren't very, uh, you know, shall I say, cost effective, okay? This particular um, uh, laser disc for Yuna is 4,800 yen, okay? And using the one yen to one US penny uh, uh, conversion rate, which still probably holds relatively kind of true today, um, this is basically 48,000 uh, pennies, or $48 US. And, uh, and uh, this particular disc is only 30 minutes long. So you are paying essentially almost, anyway, uh, about two bucks a minute. And the cool thing about this particular laser disc that I, uh, that I uh, that, um, you know, even with that price tag and whatnot that I, want, uh, that I, I wanted to buy it, is, generally speaking, laser discs are silver, reflective silver like this, uh, and, um, and you, you basically play this side. The unique thing about this disc, it's actually pink, okay? You can see it's a reflective pink because it's supposed to be a cute uh, Yuna color here, and, um, and it's, it's, it's hard to see from, from this particular distance, but I'll show it in, in, in the close-up. They've also etched pictures of Yuna on this actual pink surface of this disc. You know, cool little collectors type of thing. About this particular laser disc for you know. So, and these are one of these premium things that, 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 that you've got with these lasers. So that's, again, the other thing that was really cool about Yuna, uh, and, and also uh, the animation in general, is that the laser disc being a larger box, you're able to store other cool stuff inside the box. And so they gave you a lot of other chrome material, um, you know, so it has a uh, kind of a design uh, making of Yuna kind of a booklet inside it, which uh, has more information about the story. It also pulls out to a fairly length size uh, you know, poster that comes with inside this uh, thing as well, which is really kind of cool. Um, because of its release time, it, 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 it uh, came out uh, in the new year. And so it also comes with a uh, kind of a, a Happy New Year uh, thing, a booklet with a whole bunch of uh, uh, Happy New Year postcards, uh, plus your own sort of uh, cutouts and that kind of stuff. You can you know make your own Happy New Year uh, you and a figure. Okay. So lots of little cool little stuff like that. Um, it also comes with uh, advertising, and so this is a sheet of. Uh, of future video releases from this company called Toho Lasers. So it gives you a big, uh, you know, basically a listing of all of these different animes, and, uh, Godzilla movies, and uh, you know, even just, you know, other live action type movies that are coming up with this company. And uh, this will give you the, not only the title, the price, but also the very important uh, ordering code, UPC uh, slash ISPN number that, that they use to order it. With. So this is how we were able to get our anime. But again, it isn't without a large price that we have to pay to in order to get this uh, information. This isn't just a simple, yeah, we just Google it and then uh, you know we find it and then we just basically download it. Okay, it's, uh, again, internet wasn't uh, it wasn't as fast as it, as it was we were used to now. That uh, services like streaming and downloading uh, were not available. 
So you, you actually have to physically order these discs um, to come in and uh, you know, watch them and uh, work for them. So the reason why we had to use this type of thing is again, um, we all know that the, you know, the recording of things on VHS um, degraded as you made a copy of a copy. So when we get TV copies that can be repaired, we have to make a copy of it off of that copy in order to we have a, something to work with. And then basically after we um, apply the subtitles to it, we're also you know, we're down another copy away from that one again to have our master copy that has all the subtitles on it. And if you were interested in the, in the copy of that, I would make, it, make you a copy and I'd you know, be able to send that to you by mail. Then that's again another copy down the line. So, you know, uh, you, you know, it was very important to, uh, to, uh, to in order to try to find a really good master in order to make these um, uh, uh, some kind of things. Because otherwise, you know, uh, by the time you know, we're four copies down the line, uh, you know, we've lost the picture, has lost a lot of color, it's uh, just gone very, very red shifted, and uh, you know, and, and, and the stabilization of the picture starts to fall uh, you know, we have to be able to the quality of the gun. So, definitely, these laser discs were a very good thing. And again, in a future episode, I'm going to get into uh, more about uh, you know, how we use these lasers and some of the special things that you got inside laser discs uh, uh, in a future episode. Uh, so, if you want to go to the bottom here, hit subscribe, you want to hit like, that way you get your notifications telling you that you've got a new episode coming up and you can uh, watch out for that. Okay. The other thing I was going to get into is uh, also below here is you get all the information on how to contact me. Uh, uh, you can email me with suggestions, uh, and comments about uh, the videos, and maybe um, if you have an idea for a future episode, by all means, you can email me and, uh, and, and let me know what you're thinking. Um, the second way I have grown in, again, uh, I love ball caps, and uh, today's uh, promo cap today, I'm wearing the plastic Montreal Expos, and uh, uh, today's uh, player I'm going to dedicate to is uh, Mr. Tim Raines, he is uh, now inducted into the uh, uh, Baseball uh, Hall of Fame, and, uh, and, and so in uh, recognition of that, uh, I'm going to recommend a baseball anime and all you baseball fans to uh, uh, watch. And one of the favorite ones that I got really interested in was Princess Nine. Now that sounds uh, like a girl's uh, anime, and it, it sort of is. It's basically how a, uh, a girl's school made a baseball team uh, to, to go against the, basically everybody else, including the guys' team. And this girls' team is basically constructed of all these different girls that have all their various different, you know, uh, issues and uh, the things that they, they grew up with um, and uh, different abilities that all the different girls uh, have. So for example, the, 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 the pitcher is the daughter of a, of a star baseball pitcher that has a secret lightning uh, fastball. Okay? And the catcher, by trade, is a uh, is, is, is really good at, uh, at judo and uh, uh, one of the star hitters of it, 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 in the game is actually from the tennis team and, a, and, an, and a, an arrival of the main character of the story. So yes, uh, for all of you who are looking for a baseball type anime, I recommend checking out Princess Nine. So, until next time, I will see you again. <laughs>